Let's do a really fast introduction to Tmux. Tmux is a terminal multiplexer. That means that you can have multiple terminal sessions inside of one terminal. To install Tmux, you use your package manager and install Tmux, T-M-U-X. So brew install Tmux for me, or pacman s Tmux, or apt get install Tmux. You get the picture. Once you've installed it, simply type tmux and hit enter. You're now inside of tmux. Immediately, not a lot will change. It will start up a new shell for you and it will source your profile in your bash RC. The way that you can tell you're inside of tmux is the banner along the bottom of the screen, the green banner along the bottom of the screen. And of course, because I'm just inside of a shell, I can just type exit, hit enter, and it will drop me out of tmux and end that tmux session. The way Tmux works is by using a prefix key followed by your command key to do all the fancy stuff. So by default, the prefix key is control B and then followed by your command key, which for example, I'll hit T, which will show me the time. However, it is widely disliked across the community for control B to be the prefix key. So most people change it to be control A. And you can do this very simply by creating and editing a file called .tmux.conf inside of your home directory. Add these three lines, which will be in the comments down below, to your .tmux.conf file in your home directory, and now control A will be your prefix key instead of control B. Now, let me show you 10 awesome things that tmux can do that makes it so incredibly powerful and useful. Firstly, prefix key followed by percentage sign splits the screen vertically into two panes. Prefix key followed by speech marks splits the screen horizontally into two panes. If you have a couple of panes inside your current window, you can move between them by using the prefix key and an arrow. So prefix key right, prefix key down. And you can see the focus changing between the panes as I move them. To kill a specific pane or window, it is prefix key X. And before getting rid of it, it will ask you to confirm. To detach from your Tmux session and go back to your normal shell, it is prefix key D for detach, and then you'll be dropped out of Tmux. From here, you can use the Tmux command to list your available sessions and reattach to them. To list the sessions, it's Tmux space LS, and you can see I have one session available to me. And to reattach to it, it's Tmux space A for attach. If there's more than one session, I would have to do minus T and the number which you can find at the very start of the session list to reattach to that specific one. Tmux has three layers. First of all, a session is the overarching container of all of the Tmux windows and panes. A window is a full screen view and inside of the windows you have the individual panes which can take up the full screen or can be split, made smaller, etc. To create a new window, it's prefix key and C for create if you like. And you can see at the bottom now, we have two windows. You can move between windows with prefix key P for previous or prefix key N for next. So you can just cycle between them with N or P. If for some reason you have a pane that you want to maximize to the full size of the screen for a brief amount of time, you can use prefix key and Z for zoom and it will take up the entire screen until you do prefix key and Z again to unzoom it. Finally, an incredibly important one that you can't live without, prefix key and S will list all of your sessions, windows and panes. You can use the arrow keys then to expand these and collapse them. And you can see all of your windows and panes and sessions that are available to you. You can move up and down and then enter on a specific one to jump to it. There is so much more that Tmux can do. I've barely scraped the surface. If you want to know more, in the description down below, I've attached a link to this website, tmuxcheatsheet.com. It is literally a cheat sheet for all of the things Tmux can do and tells you how to do them. So that was a really fast introduction to Tmux. Hopefully it was interesting and helpful and has maybe even inspired you to use Tmux. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy what I do here, please like and subscribe and feel free to share this channel with whoever you think would be interested in it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.